What's up guys, today I'm going to talk to you about video editing laptops. Oh, I need to get some groceries right now because I need to edit some stuff and I need to cook for myself, so let's get some groceries. So, sorry, no cooking for today, um, because I am kind of in a rush right now, because I need to deliver some files to my customers. But I do have something else, and that's pizza. Let's go get some pizza! Okay, so in the meantime, I'm going to compare the MacBook 15 inch from 2011 to my new HP ProBook with 4 gigabytes of RAM. Is it capable to edit full HD video in Adobe Premiere? Is it better than my 2011 MacBook? We're going to find out. I'm going to use this one to get it. So here you can see my MacBook Pro 15 inch from 2011 and here is my HP ProBook 430 I think with a Core i5 the 7th generation while the MacBook has a Core i7 and I think it's the 2nd generation? I have both uh, projects ready to export at the same quality to a H.264 match source high bitrate. So if you ask me the question, do I need Core i7 for video editing, do I need a dedicated video card or do I need a lot of RAM? Of course, that may be helpful, but that's not that's not always needed. Like if you're going to vlog, if you're not going to apply a lot of effects, color correction and stuff like that, you know, you, you're you just fine with a Core i5. You can use it for your vlogs and stuff like that. I'm going to use it for professional productions, for promotional videos and stuff like that. So yeah, I would get a new Core i5, uh, at least uh, the, 7th generation Core i5 because this laptop is so extremely powerful, it's so fast. I got it, he's fast. Um, yeah, you don't need to buy a expensive laptop for video editing. If you're just a vlogger or something like that, just get a 13 inch laptop with a Core i5 processor, at least the 7th generation, uh, and at least 4 gigs gigabytes of RAM. Although Adobe is claiming that you need at least a minimum of 8 gigabytes. But you know, I'm, I'm using this machine and this one has 4 gigabytes of RAM and it's working amazingly. Of course, if you're going to add more RAM to your system, it's going to work even faster and even better. So, you know, but this is more than enough. So yeah, just stick with that. Just go get a cheaper laptop and spend the money on other things like lenses or lights or audio or stuff like that. Do other things with it. Go do cool stuff, you know, go travel. So I hope this was helpful for you. And if you like this video, please consider to subscribe and give it a thumbs up.